Your deep truths are in nature. No matter who you are, where you live or what kind of life you lead, you remain irrevocably linked with the rest of creation. Charles Cook UNESCO program Man and Biosphere and go a clean up as project development with the participation of the Commonwealth Norbrian and the Ministry of the Environment CERNAMP Present Biosphere Reserve Project Abireri Brian Our planet is a single living biosystem with a huge number of interacting living organisms. The most unique and least degraded place on the planet is the Amazon River system, from its upper reaches to the zone of flooded rainforests. Over the past 30 years, human activity has significantly affected absolutely all biocenosis conditions in this area. As a result, it leads to the extinctions of many of the flora and fauna species. It also leads to the general degradation of vast territories, which at the same time added a negative impact on the gradual change and the destruction of the entire natural ecosystem of the planet and increased the total amount of carbon dioxide. It led to climate change and deterioration of living conditions on the planet. Large-scale deforestation degraded grazing landscapes, surface mining, huge coca plantings, forest oil processing, and simply a huge clogging of rivers and nearby settlements with plastic and foam garbage. All these gradually kills nature. In this regard, in addition to the Agenda 21 adopted in Rio de Janeiro in 1992, the United Nations declared the period from 2021 to 2030 as the time for restoring ecosystem around the world and defined global actions to combine political support, research and financial opportunities for large-scale projects and specific initiatives to achieve these goals. Therefore, at the 4th World Congress on Biosphere Reserves held in Lima, Peru in March 2016, UNESCO adopted new additional agreements and documents in order to create new biosphere reserves for the period from 2016 to 2025. Peru is the only country in the world that has the largest variety of climate types defined on the planet. 28 out of 32 known ones are located here, which determines the presence of a large number of life zones. In this regard, in order to preserve and restore the lost landscapes of the Upper Amazon and the ecosystems of the Eastern Andes, in 2015, on the initiative of the unification of the municipalities Nobraem and Eko Ashaninka, the work of the creation of the country's largest biosphere reserve, Abrieri Abraem, began. Today, during the registration period, its area is 4.5 million hectares and is located in two adjacent departments of central Peru. Hunin Department, Satipo Province, and Cusco Department, La Convención Province. This huge biosphere complex contains both lowlands from 120 meters below sea level 
At an altitude of 17 to 2500 meters and high mountain tundra and snow peaks in the central and southern part of the Cordillera Bacambra Mountains, with altitudes from 3.5 thousand to 5 thousand meters above sea level. Registration of the Biosphere Reserve does not influence on the rights of ownership and or the land concessions of the residents of the territory that lies within the influence of their property land rights. However, this is very profitable as within its jurisdiction the reserve can give the actual social support in accordance to the declared and approved projects. Participating or not participating in the activity of the reserve is a free choice of any economic or social organization or any other non-governmental organization. According to the UNESCO MAB regulations, the territory of the Biosphere Reserve consists of three main parts. The central zone or nucleo zone, the depreciated zone around the central zone and the transition zone on the remaining territory. The nuclear zone consists of four protected areas of the Ministry of the Environment with a total area of 924,406.06 hectares. These are the Ashaninka Community Indian Reserve, the Machikanga Indian Community Reserve, Otishi National Park and Megantony National Shrine. The depreciated zone with an area of 1,196,703.04 hectares surrounds the core zone on all sides and occupies 26.43% of the territory of the Biosphere Reserve. The native Ashaninka and Machigenga Indian tribes live there. The transition zone covers 2,405,981.45 hectares and is located in the entire territory around the deprecation zone to the outer borders of the Biosphere Reserve, which is 53.14% of the territory. After a long coordination period in 2015-2018, the collegial decision was taken to prepare the Biosphere Reserve project for submission to the UNESCO MAB Commission for Registration. For this purpose, upon the initiative of groups of municipalities Norbraim and the municipality of Satipa province, with the support of the municipality of the province of La Convención, signed the Necessity Acts and declared the national contest for companies executing this project to is NGO Akranap International Foundation as the winners of the competition at the end of December 2019, they started writing the project based on the results of their 20 years research in central Peru. The data were taken from international and national studies and our own taxonomic works published in the form of articles and books and carried out by the Foundation's research team under the guidance of leading biologists Dr. Andrei Gorokov and Dr. Vladimir Izerski. The obtained results showed that on the territory chosen for the Biosphere Reserve, there are areas of 115 species of fauna in need of strict protection and 257 endemic species of all grades. There are also 307 species of endemic plants growing in this area. These are the examples among animals. Delmatobius timens and Areabates mechigwenga of amphibians Aspondylus chasci of reptiles, Citalopus gatier, and Astanus vilcabambe of birds, and Thomasomus ankyro, Gardneric teres koepski of mammals. But the special attention should be given to two species of monkeys endemic, Arianax flavicauda. and Plectoracebus urbambensis. The most of their range is located in the Abrieri Braem Biosphere Reserve. Among the most rare and endemic plants in this zone, the following ones should be noted. It is Ine Magbridi, Hugesia reginae, Mycania bilicifolia, Tripodonia oppositifolia, Balilapis canoi, Styrax falcambambe, and orchids. Zirachilium tricornis, Cygnotus quatuor cristis, Dichere longipedunculata, 
Apidentrum luzlarianum, Stellahelis saccatum, and others. There are 305 indigenous communities of the Ashaninka. Ashaninka, Mochigwenga, Kakinte, and Yine people from the Aravakan ethnolinguistic group. There are 212 indigenous communities of the Ashaninka, Ashaninka, Kakinte in the Satipo province. The La Convención province is home to 93 indigenous communities of the Ashaninka, Machigenga, Kakinte and Yine people. To understand the importance of such activities, with the support and assistance of the National Department for Environmental Preservation, Ministry of Environment of Peru and the Municipalities Association of Nordbrayem, the specialized seminars were held among the population of the provinces and indigenous communities of the Ashaninka and Machiguanga peoples. The basis of the work of the Biosphere Reserve is raising awareness of the fact that its primary a territory intended for the coordinated preservation of biodiversity and human activity through the sustainable use of natural resources. This reflects the key goal of UNESCO that lies in the promotion of innovative practices in the field of sustainable development and actions to address biodiversity loss by assisting member states and communities in their work to preserve the environment. Taking into account that this territory is home to about 322,000 of inhabitants, during the organizational period of preparation for the creation of the Biosphere Reserve, in addition to processing data on scientific and social research in the region over the past 20 years, in addition to the usual projects for growing organic coffee, four eco-social pilot projects on alternative use of natural resources by the population of the region were tested. Two projects for breeding invertebrates in captivity with the aim of reproducing them for partial returns to nature as objects for ecotourism development programs in the region and parts for sale in order to obtain economic benefits for improving living conditions and at the same time significantly reducing the catch of these species in nature. Two projects for the reproduction of tropical plants and orchids in order to reproduce them for partial returns to nature as objects for ecotourism development programs in the region and partitions for sale in order to obtain economic benefits for improving living conditions and at the same time significantly reducing the collection of these species in nature as well as to increase the seedling base of many local flora species for projects for the recovery of degraded ecosystems. Also, based on many years of experience in the transition zone of the planned biosphere reserve, a program was proposed to create five small private reserves, for example in the northwestern part of the zone, the Pampa Hermosa area is used to preserve the population of the spectacled Andean bear, Trimarctus anatus, Monkeys Arionax flavicauda and Atelis chamec, Wildcats Leopardus tigrinus, for the same purpose in the central part of the zone area of Bangoa, another project is planned to preserve the second natural populations of monkeys, such as Orionax flavicauda, Alawata siniculus, Jaguar Pantera onca, and others. Currently, the project is at the stage of initiation. In the future, in 2020-2021, it is planned to create a specialized infrastructure to attract ecotourism and effectively develop educational programs and programs to support local folk crafts for their own consumption and for the needs of ecotourism. Not only preserving flora, fauna and their habitat, but also creating sustainable, balanced development in this environment of human economic activity, is a priority task of the Biosphere Reserve and the only important reason for its creation.